Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Oh my God. We are now pleased to be joined by David Malukas. Hello. From HMD Motorsports. Goodness gracious. That it's, it is no wonders what coffee can do to people. Um, <laughs> David, how are you, man? I feel amazing. I'm currently running on uh, like five cups of coffee um, and a couple of different energy, all caffeine though. I feel amazing. I am ready for this. I am so excited and yeah, big smiles. Yeah. So let's talk about, you know, the, the, the season that, you know, you're having right now. So let's go back, you know, after crashing out in race one at Barber to start the season, you've gone on to, you know, just win the two out of the last three races, you know, taking the second race at Barber and then winning uh, last on Sunday at St. Pete, um, you know, everyone, how, you know, we've seen improvements the, at the HMD Motorsports team has made um, in the last two years, of course, no one you like season last year because of COVID, but what, what, what has it been like to, you know, get some, a lot of confidence in, in this team and stuff? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of like the meme. I mean, we just popped a huge Uno reverse card. <laughs> like, we go into race one, you know, we crash and uh, wasn't that great. I mean, it was unfortunate. It wasn't our fault, though. But um, yeah, Uno reverse card and we ended up winning race two. <laughs> so it was amazing. Barbara was really, really good, um, especially since that was my first Indy Lights win. And also coming back from a race one crash, it was kind of like a, a really big deal for me and the team. I mean, we've been kind of... Uh, really been thirsting for that win for quite a, quite some time um so it, it felt amazing i felt like i had a curse almost from indy lights like man i can't win an indy lights race but we finally did it and we smashed it through so i'm really really happy st pete we showed up i mean right off the bat we were quick um i love st pete we were quick back in 2020 the one session that we did which i, I never got my 2020 uh, practice champion trophy <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we showed up at St. Pete and we were really, really quick. It was kind of me and Kyle Kirkwood again. So, yeah, it was kind of like a repeat just without the the, the big crash in race one. But for quality, it was the same. It raced one, qualified second, race two, qualified first. So, yeah, I mean, oh, amazing week. And now we're leading the championship. So it, it's like kind of unbelievable to open up Indy Lights and see like championship leader, David Lucas, car number 29. And I'm like, whoa way it's, it's i feel like you know like that was like a dream of mine yeah okay so i know it's a, you know i know there's been you know there's a lot of races in there and you know going you're gonna have some time off before we you know head to you know the indie road course of course what are you what, what are you gonna do these you know this week of course we're off next week you're off uh, before we head to the indie road course again what's it gonna be uh, what are you gonna be doing um, well, on the weekends, I'm definitely going to be sleeping uh, uh, quite so, uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I, I've been a, it's kind of been back to back with racing, and then I have like an early flight. I come back, and then it's work, you know. And I work a uh, eight to five every day. So it, it was a, uh, and that's kind of how it's been since. I mean, this this week is kind of like when I'm finally going to get my first break on the weekend. So I'm really excited for those. Um, I'm definitely going to put my onesie on and just sleep Saturday and Sunday, I just coffee, tea, watch some movies and just, just do nothing. I'm so excited to just do nothing. <laughs> um, but no. And then, yeah, after this weekend, um, then it's kind of just going to have to be restarting, re-kicking up and getting prepared for Indy. Um, I mean, yes, I'm still going to be working the eight to five, but early in the morning, I've kind of been transitioning my schedule and doing a workout at, you know, 530 in the morning, you know, getting it done in the morning, go to work, kind of just sit all day and then do my second bit uh, of, of the workout in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, it's kind of just getting prepared for that and just continuing to work, I guess. Okay. So of course, work is your race team, HMD Motorsports. Uh, talk, can I talk about what you do? there well i work for hmd trucking as it support so nothing to really do with racing oh, okay. uh, but no i do show up to hmd motorsports at the uh, our shop in indianapolis i do show up sometimes but no i mainly just work at the the trucking so so t talk about a typical day what do you what do you what do you do but well i mean I, we all know what it does but yeah i mean so it's kind of just Anytime people have issues, I can always help them. In the meantime, I'm making programs and codes to kind of just make things easier. So let's say, cause we get a lot of information of 
truckers and drivers that need to come in and they have all this info that you normally need to get like each document and put it into a spreadsheet so they can calculate it. Well, normally I would make a program that takes all the information from these Word documents and it just automatically puts it into a spreadsheet and it can scan the file, get all the information out and put it in the spreadsheet so nobody has to do that and people can just focus on more important things. So that's roughly what I do. Okay, so I know you've been on the Indy Road course several times. Um, how exciting is it for you to go there in a few weeks? Um, what's that, what's that going to be like? Because I know confidence, you know, when you're on a roll, you know, you're on a roll. And of course, everybody talks about, you know, you guys, I know, I know we're only four races in and there's a lot of time for a lot of teams to catch up and, you know, come about because, you know, what's that, what do you guys got to do to make sure that you guys keep, you know, the momentum going and everything like that? So with that. Yeah, I mean, Indy is a special place. It's uh, it almost feels like um, like my second home because I just go there so often. And now our, our shops maneuver there. It's just and it's like a really to me, like it's what, a three hour drive ish. And it's actually not that long. I just feel like I'm always there. So, I mean, I love the Indy GP. It's an amazing road course. Um, it's actually always very close every 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 season. So I actually, it's, I think this one's going to be quite tough to kind of just do what we did in both race two for Barber and St. Pete to kind of just have like a bit of a pull away, which Kirkwood came back in race two to kind of make my heart beat a little bit, which was stressful. But um, yeah, I think it's going to be, and there's also a lot of passing points, which makes Indy so special um, with the push of passes, we can have really good racing, but no, the team's ready. I'm ready. It's uh, been a long time coming and it feels like it's been too long um, as a racer to not be an Indy. So I'm, I'm excited to get back. Yeah, I know there's a lot of tracks that you're looking forward to. Of course, you know, um, there's this place called Road America that you're pretty good at as well. Um, you know, we got Mid Ohio. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not guaranteeing Toronto because yeah. Um, yeah. But what are you most looking forward to, you know, these next, you know, next few races? Because, you know, Indy is Indy. But I know that there's a lot of other tracks that you're, you know, looking forward to as well. I mean, well, we already said it. I mean, I'm, I'm most excited for Road America. That is, uh, that's my baby, man. I've had uh, most success, I think, uh, like in Indy Pro 2000. We swept that weekend there. And um, my dad used to race there in the Corvette. I've been there since I was a little, little kid. So it has good history to me. Um, my family loves it. I love it. Uh, that's that's what I'm most excited excited for and hopefully we can have the pace this year because that would just be like a kind of win-win situation you know i know that road america you know provides a lot of things you know for you know if you win at road america it's going to be very good now here's another thing and here's another name that that will like you know take you back to the past if sam mayer wins at road america in in the xfinity series it's going to be um uh it's going to be an explosion of course he's from wisconsin and the reason why I say that is that name sounds familiar to you because, of course, you did karting with him a while ago and you had a little bit of a flashback there. Um, do you have any, what was it like, you know, seeing everybody like, you know, that you raced with a long time ago, seeing them succeed in whether it's IndyCar, whether it's NASCAR or in any other form of motorsport? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels great to kind of had these memories and pictures of us when we were younger and just starting off, no, you know, no ambitions, no goals, just kind of picking our noses, having a great time, just going out on track. Um, you know, I mean, nothing back then was serious, at least for me, I don't know, maybe for them, they already had plans, but for me, I was just like, yeah, I'm doing this for fun. You know, we're pretty good, but I'm here to just come with my family and have a great time. And which yes, it's racing is still fun today, but now it's definitely more on the serious side. Um, but I mean, it, it feels incredible to see us work so hard through the years at such young ages and now you know kind of getting the success and getting into these higher levels um with you know these familiar names it feels really good which i'll never forget in wisconsin we did a, a go-kart race and instead of getting a trophy as your victory you ended up getting like a, a, a block of cheese that was waxed like shaped into a cow i will never forget that no you know what you need to do if you win road america this year you need to go to you need to take a trip over to Culver's and then you need to go get some of that because, uh, you know, I know <laughs> yeah, you're exactly. kid and stuff. Anyway, speaking of, um, speaking of, you know, NASCAR and stuff, I know that there is, uh, you know, in, I know you're from the Chicago area. And I know you currently call Illinois home. 
there's uh, this little street course that's possibly being thinked about there. How cool would it be to have a street course race in the city of Chicago? I mean, that would be really cool just because I only have to drive 20 minutes to go to the track. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, seeing Chicago, I mean, in the skyline, that would be crazy. Um, I can only imagine that. And then you also have the lakefront. I mean, you could have some pretty cool ideas there and it would be um, a huge kind of kickoff. I mean, wow, that would, I'd probably definitely blow up. I would be really excited. You, well, you're always excited. You were excited. You were excited when you jumped on this call today. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm like, you don't know. I mean, you, like I said before, it is a wonder. It wonders me what coffee can do to people like yourself. So <laughs> well, it's not just coffee. It's just a lot of caffeine and different types and versions of it. I just really like it a lot. Yeah. It, may, it also makes for great podcast interviews too. Um, <laughs> Do you feel like you have, um, and one more thing, do you feel like you have something to prove to people this year? Because, you know, uh, last year I knew you drove, I think you drove for FR Americas, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. But, you know, you drove a lot of stuff last year. Um, and, and obviously, you know, the 19 season was, you know, a learning season for you in Indy Lights. Do you feel like now you're ready maybe to say, here I am? I mean, yeah, there's always an expectation. Um, personally, I don't really care about um, showing myself as like, you know, I want my name to be heard. It's more that I like wanted to be heard so I can have, you know, better chances with connections to IndyCar, you know, and, you know, making sure I kind of secure the, the ladder going up. Um, personally, I don't really care about, you know, my, my own fame uh, to be out there, but it's almost that it's needed to, you know, help show so I can, like I said, get some sort of connection with IndyCar. But yeah, personally, I, I mean, whatever, I'm just here to race, have some fun. Um, and yeah, and just succeed. I mean, succeeding as I, I think everybody in racing is just has a competitive personality. So, I mean, that in that perspective, it's, I, you know, I definitely want to win. <laughs> so, so um, but, you know, I actually, it's a funny story. The way my, our team is, you know, we, making expectations is kind of mentally what really drags you down. And that's what I've learned through my years as a maturity, like through maturity as a, you know, through my teen years. And in the early years, I would set these expectations and not make them. And mentally that messes you up. I, I mean, even for, let's say that race that day, or even the whole season, it'll always be with you. And it really pushes you down and you're, performance shows and as well so the, the, our team has no expectations so what we do if we win we get second or third we always say yo hey we got top 10 that is amazing <laughs> on to the next one and it boosts you know it you know like we got that third in that race and it was like oh you know maybe we could have got this pass done that we could have got a better position you know talking with the team and then but then we in the end we just say hey yo but we still got top 10 and then all of a sudden everybody's happy you know, it's, it's, it definitely makes a big change um, mentally. So, so that's another example for why racing is not just a physical sport, but a mental sport. That is also very true and very yeah. interesting way to put it as only you can. Um, but anyway, <laughs> David Malukas, thank you so much. This has been, this is, I, I don't know what this has been, but this has been really fun for me. Uh, good, uh, enjoy some time off. Maybe we'll go, maybe go watch the ARCA race. Um, uh, maybe go watch IndyCar at Texas this weekend, or yeah, I don't know, maybe watch the cup race at Kansas or something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, currently I'm going to enjoy these before I head off to bed. <laughs> Just some dark chocolate wafers. I am really excited to eat those. <laughs> Free advertising right there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, maybe. Hey, can you sponsor the car, please? Um, Quadrantini? Quadrantini! Uh, <laughs> come and sponsor HMD Motorsports for Indy Lights. Uh, I, I think I said that correctly. It's Italian, I think. Yeah. I think Quadrantini. So. Awesome. Oh my, oh my goodness. Thank you so much.